When running a bucket server, you might want to install plugins like Core Protector or Essentials X. When doing this, you might run into instructions that tell you to create a MySQL database. This guide will show you how to do exactly that. So why should I create a database for my Minecraft server? Setting up a MySQL database for your Minecraft server makes managing data a lot easier, allowing you to scale your database information and keep it in one centralized place. MySQL is an open source database management system. It's commonly used by many Minecraft plugins and mods to store data in. You can do a lot of things with MySQL. It's open source, secure, scalable, and pretty fast. This tutorial is for Spark to servers, but it will work on other hosting platforms too. Clients from other Minecraft hosting that switch over can save up to 230% on their hosting costs on hardware that's 37% faster. Check the link in the description for more information. Fortunately, you don't need to install MySQL on your Spark Tools servers. They already come pre-installed. If you're running a Spark Tools VPS, then the process might be a little different. So to set up a database on a managed Minecraft server, you go to your server, and go to the databases section and click create new database. I'll name it Spark Tools. And leave this section blank and choose the closest location to you. For example, I'm going to go with Frankfurt and click create. Now let me show you an example of how you can set it up with a plugin. So for example, I have LogPrims installed here. Go to the plugins folder, go to config.yml and scroll down a little till you find the storage method. Change this from the default to MySQL. And now you need to open your database information in a separate window so you can copy paste. Copy the endpoint, then copy the database name, which should be this one. All right. And copy the username and password. Make sure you keep it between the repositories. And now all you need to do is click save and restart. While the server starts, you should see a lot of MySQL notifications here. And if it shows you start completed, then you should be fine. Successfully enabled, as you can see. Now let me show you how you can view the data inside the database. You need to go to your database and click visit PHP My Admin. Then you need to log in. You can do that by opening up the details here and copying them and pasting. And then click login. Now to check your database information, open up this one right here. You should find all the log perms inputs here. And that's it. If you still have any other questions, please make sure to drop them in the comments or open a ticket. Our team is online 24-7 and we're here to help out whenever. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.